Hey everyone, and welcome to another multi-medium painting video. So that means I'm using spray paint for the background and acrylic fluid paints for the ribbon. Um, so for the spray paint, I was actually using a different brand for a couple of the colors. Uh, that's because Deceris is taking forever to ship these days. So I went with a different uh, art supply store called Wallux. They're based out of Ottawa. And I have to say they were awesome. Um, they took like four business days to ship my order. Uh, there, it was just, I couldn't say enough good things about them. I was really quite pleased with it. And I love shopping, uh, you know, semi locally and supporting the smaller businesses. Uh, anyways, so the acrylic spray paint that they offer is uh, Montana Colors. I think it's like MTN or something like that. They claim uh, that it's for indoor and outdoor use and is odorless. Um, and I was actually pretty pleased with it. I don't think that I chose really the right uh, blue. Um, it was kind of muted. So I'm going to have to really look into their different color options. I was using several different blues though, so I was able to blend it together and achieve the look that I was going for. Uh, and I, you know, I think it worked out pretty well. I really like that blue background. I'm probably going to have to do another one of those. So loading the tray. I pulled up a chair for this because uh, it took about half an hour to load. Um, I was really going for those really fine lines that I'm so fond of and I mean I still think that it's a really interesting effect that is achieved when you do the smaller puddles of paint. Um, <laughs> not to mention it's there's something really satisfying about how the paint looks in the tray. Um, it's almost a shame to pour it out of the tray. <laughs> um, it's like a really cool gobstopper or something. Um, I'm about to give you a close-up here actually of what it looks like so you can see what I'm uh, talking about. Um, so at this point I thought I was done and I hefted the tray and I can actually kind of tell if I have enough paint in the tray and I decided that I did not have enough paint, so I went back and put some more uh, paint in there. Um, the problem is, though, that there was like a groove at the bottom of the tray, so you can kind of see that it was spilling out on the sides and it wasn't really in the middle. So I don't think that I put enough paint in the tray still. And the ribbon that I got from it, I wasn't like super excited about it. I mean, I don't think it's one of the best ribbons I've ever done. Um, it did have a lot of really interesting details to it, which, you know, uh, made me keep it. I, I just couldn't bear to get rid of those really awesome details. And I mean, I really think that had I not done all those little puddles and gotten those fine lines, I would have kept the ribbon. Um, I mean, I'm rel relatively happy with this painting. I, I think that it, it, it was pretty interesting. I wish that the ribbon was a little bit more graceful, I guess. Um, but, you know, live and learn. Um, and maybe had I spun uh, the canvas a little harder while I was delivering it, it would be just, like, a little more confident. I don't know. I mean, it looks cool. Uh, I'm interested to know what you guys think. Um, again, I'm, I'm just popping some bubbles there. Um, and you can kind of see my mullet that I'm growing out thanks to the COVID. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I mean, I don't really have much else to say about this painting. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching my video. If you did, remember to hit like and make sure you subscribed and hit that bell button for notifications uh, for when I post new videos. Oh, I thought I was done, but I'm not done. Um, we're coming up to my favorite part of the ribbon. Uh, that detail right there, I just, it's the thing that saved the ribbon, really. I mean, I couldn't get rid of that. Anyways, 
I promise that's it now. Uh, stay in, stay safe, wash your hands, and hang in there. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.